Hey guys, I'm sorry I could not post for a very long time. It's been over a month now since I posted the Creta review. Uh, that got an insane response. Okay, I'm currently sitting at 5.25.3 thousand views on that, and because of that, I crossed 300 subscribers. So a massive thank you for that. That is a huge achievement for me. Next 500 subscribers. Let's go. Quick thing before I start the review. Uh, this I'm recording in 60 frames per second at 1080p. So it's a trade-off because it's not 4K. So tell me in the comments, what would you prefer, 4K or 60 frames per second? 60 frames per second basically makes the movements more fluid than the regular 30 frames per second at which I record at 4K, or it is 1080p with 60 frames per, per second. Anyways. So hey guys, in front of me is the 2013 Hyundai i10 1.1 liter Magna. So starting off from the front, as I already said, we have the headlights which have a good look. They're very similar to the previous model, like the first generation i10 which was launched in India, except for the front end. In that, it is a little bit sharp. In this, it is rounded off. It looks kind of like a 2012, 2013 Hyundai Verna. Fight me in the comments. I know you won't. I'll give you a picture of that just for reference. We have the grill over here, and thank God it's a small grill, not those big grills. And the Hyundai logo is adequately sized and not oversized. I think this was kind of the best design uh, period for Hyundai. It was not too uh, 2010-ish, and it is not too showy. Uh, which it is nowadays, uh, like in the Creta, link in the description. Uh, we have the grill and uh, with the chrome and the Hyundai badge. Now plate holder, fog lamp. Places for the fog lamps, however, since this is a Magna, it did not receive fog lamps from the factory, and we never got them installed. Uh, we have the mirrors over here, which don't have any indicators on them because this is a 1.1 liter variant, not a 1.2 liter variant, and. Instead, the indicators are over here to the side. We have the A pillars, which run smoothly and are in body color. There's a separation over here from the fender A pillar and the bonnet. Also, uh, under this bonnet is a measly 1.1 liter engine. I will show you that as well. We have the wipers, dual wipers, nothing too irregular. We have the antenna up here, which messes up the aerodynamics. Also. Realistically, you won't be racing this car. We have the wheels over here. So these are Bridgestone uh, tires, and uh, they are 13 inches, and they uh, don't like look particularly good because these are steel wheels covered with wheel caps. So all of the variants got these same wheel caps, and there were no alloy wheels back then. And it's an okay look, not the best, not the worst. It is okay. And then we have the door handles, which are the regular flap type, as you can see. And we have key holes on the passenger and the driver side, not at the back. Uh, we have the windows over here, and these windows are uh, a nice size and plenty of air, uh, plenty of air and light go in and out. So that is pretty cool. Same thing, fuel filler cap, which is a little low for the car, but that's okay. We have the rear over here. The Aiden uh, rear lights. These uh, are kind of like the original, except the all the pieces over here in the center are redesigned. It does look pretty good. We have the same to same boot, except the position of the Magna badges has changed, and there's no 1.1 or 1.2 written on it. And we have the basic mechanism for opening this as well with the keyhole down there, as you can see. Uh, adequate boot space, not too big, not too small. And back here we have the window, and there's a piece of paper. What does that say? Oh yeah, subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. It's a red button below, and please subscribe. It takes like hardly two seconds, and you don't have, even have to move your finger that much. It helps a lot. And as it is, uh, I want to reach 500 subs. Maybe this year, 20 by 2021. Maybe I guess we'll see. We have the rear like like reflectors over here. Nothing too special. Some mud flaps which are broken, as you can see, and the exhaust. Uh, as for the exhaust note, here you go.
were in the interior of the Hyundai i10 anyway starting off right from the uh, steering wheel you might notice that it is very high that is because there is no adjust in this no tilt or telescopic or like move sideways or come as i said that is not present in this however what we see here is a rev meter which is pretty cool we have the uh, speedometer and we have the uh, you know trip meter and the uh, you know all the distance and stuff which is a digital uh, like digital analog because it's not the best of the screens it's just a basic gray with a uh, blue on top text so it's pretty basic we have the stocks over here this is for the headlights and the signals as you can see right now uh, high beams you can just barely see them on the side of the mirror right there and if you if you're an OG viewer you will recognize this exactly the same spot where i filmed the review with the vitara brezza that belonged to a relative who was visiting us however this is our car over here uh, in jammu and over here some basic stuff you know um, adjusting the mirrors and of uh, its manual it's not uh, like the best electronic system or anything we have window lock over here which is pretty nice uh, we have four power windows which uh, considering this a magnet is pretty good in the era which was the base variant we only got two however uh, you will now get to see why this is the magna there are three blank switches over here that's right three i did not expect that we have the fuse box over here and the bonnet release although you can barely see those because of the poor lighting i'm sorry we have the beam adjuster over here in the center we have this black plastic in the 1.2 liter variant which was the kappa engine there was uh, a clock over here like an an not analog it was a digital clock on the on lcd screen old tech as you will expect we have a one din uh, music system over here nothing to uh, like you know good or modern we have silver accents over here which looks pretty nice although i would have appreciated if this button was also silver because the hazard lights button it sticks out a lot according to me some contrast is good like this music system and the uh, case over here it's black it looks nice but this does not look that nice especially because it breaks up the entire vibe over here of the silver anyways turning those on as you can see uh, it is not the brightest but it is not the worst as well we have a dated switch over here, this slider me mechanism over here which is as i already said very dated ac switch uh, ac buttons uh, the modes and the uh, temperature this is the same setup carried over from the older i10 uh, which i did not like expect much from hyundai when they were launching the new one but it's a straight port over except for the colors that have been changed uh, we have a nice beige finish over here although this is a weird thing from hyundai and hyundai is supposed to be a good manufacturer the trim on the dashboard and the trim on the doors and the seats is their different colors which is a, a weird thing honestly it just looks weird it's not that good we have a brown over here and we have black over here again trim pieces that are mismatched which does not look very nice uh, in my opinion although it it's okay like it was a cheap car economy car we have a glove box over here which is pretty fu full and messy we have a small cubby hole over here with a 12 volt charging socket okay that was not expected anyways reliability issues aside okay I'll just leave it uh we have the shifter over here uh the uh, you know leather on this the fall leather is tearing apart not really the best quality but then this car is like 7 8 years old so not i did not really expect that we have the gear over here uh five speed manual transmission with a reverse no dog leg reverse or uh, latch to do that we have some space over here in the center two cup holders i'm sorry it's pretty messy some space over here along with the key uh the handbrake which is like a different shade from that part and that part so no actually it matches this uh, trim so we have four uh, colors of trim in this car which is kind of a weird thing we have the uh, you know uh, seat belts over here and this is a weird mechanism as you can see it the recline is at the side 
uh, we have a cup holder over here for the rear passengers uh, i won't go to the rear comfort though because it's not uh, the best we have another 12 volt charging socket which is a change from the older like 2008 model and yeah that's it anyways that's it for today's video i'm sorry i'm a little sweaty after sitting in there for a long time uh, not the best thing uh, it has regular key start uh, no push button over here although that was not a part of any of the uh, models of the uh, you know i10 but that's it for today's video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe i say all of this stuff regularly it's pretty cliche now uh, and yeah i guess that's it i said that already i don't know i'm weird anyways peace